I remember sitting there with my parents in this uh, lecture room, this big lecture room, and they were talking about uh, psychology here in Nijmegen and how they approached it. And they were talking about that there's a big focus on research and a big focus on the brain, actually. And I told my parents uh, back then, okay, I'm sure I want to do this, but I don't like the brain and I don't like the research. So that, those are the things I don't want to do. During uh, my studies, actually in the first year already, there was this very interesting uh, brain course. And it, uh, yeah, I was so fascinated by the things they, they taught me there. And also um, questions like, it's just, you know, firing of neurons and how does it actually lead us to see the things that we are seeing, uh, decide what we decide and to attend to the things we're attending to. So back then I realized like, okay, this is actually really, really cool and really something. And also the research courses I really enjoyed. And uh, yeah, in the end, the combination was the perfect thing for me to, uh, to go into. So I think that's when it happened. Uh, well, I'm uh, studying curiosity and mainly the behavioral mechanisms and the neural mechanisms of curiosity. And uh, actually during my master's I did an internship uh, in the uh, group of Floris de Lange. And back then I was working on uh, visual cortex stuff, so really low level visual processing and how that works. And it was really interesting, I really learned a lot. And I had a great supervisor back then who also taught me a lot. But what I missed a bit was the person behind the visual cortex. So uh, really more the psychology side of the research. And um, yeah, I realized then that I was actually more interested in the person behind it and actually exactly how these neurons work. So um, yeah, that's why I decided to uh, write my own grant proposal um, together with Flores and also uh, Roshan Kohls. And uh, I actually got the grant and uh, this allowed me to uh, yeah, investigate the things I'm mostly interested in, in the curiosity and how that works and why people are curious and what kind of things they are curious about. Yeah, of course, we try to make people, people curious and we thought, well, what kind of things are people curious about? And that's why we uh, came to lotteries, because generally people are curious about lotteries. They like the risk and the uncertainty that is associated with it. Um, so we use uh, lotteries in order to uh, investigate curiosity. And then we specifically look at whether people are actually driven by the rewards in the lottery, so really the amount of money they can win, or whether it's more about the uncertainty and the risk associated with it. Or in other words, the information you can get by actually seeing the outcome of a lottery. Uh, we, so we show them the lotteries and then we ask them basically how curious are you about the outcome. Uh, so that's one way in which you can measure curiosity, but it's a very explicit way. And um, I always like to uh, link these kind of explicit measures to more implicit measures as well. So we also use a, a willingness to wait paradigm in one of my studies in which we don't ask people how curious are you. But uh, given this lottery, would you want to wait to see the outcome? And uh, it actually showed that people are indeed sometimes willing to wait to see the outcomes of lotteries. And that is uh, mainly the case when uh, the lottery is very uncertain. Uh, yeah, I think I'm mainly uh, surprised by the fact that people are so curious about things they have zero influence about whatsoever. So in my task is always the case, it's very passive, so people don't cannot influence what will happen, they cannot influence uh, what the outcome of a lottery will be. They cannot influence whether they see the outcome or not, because sometimes they see it, sometimes they don't. And still they decide to be curious about it. And sometimes even they are even, as I mentioned already, willing to wait for the outcome, even though they will receive the outcome anyway. So waiting for it and actually seeing it doesn't make any difference for them. And apparently people are still sometimes so curious that they still want to see what's going on and see what happened. And I think that's very fascinating. And I think that's also part of what makes us uh, human. Sometimes we just want to know without really having a clear goal in mind for that. So uh, yeah, that's very fascinating. Yeah, I actually really like the, the behavioral part of my work. So really, what are people doing? What are they interested in? What kind of responses do they make? And um, yeah, I think for the future, I would really like to investigate um, yeah, what the individual differences are that uh, make us curious, basically. So why am I curious about different things than you are curious about? So I think I would want to go a bit more into that direction. So really try to figure out um, what makes us curious and why that differs between individuals and um, yeah, why that happens, basically. Mm -hmm.